Guys, I, I'm going to try and make the long story short. You know. um, first, I want to congratulation people that went to compete, people that won, people that was able to step up and go there and coach everybody else. I couldn't make because my dad is very, very, very sick at home. And that's the only reason why I have to run to Brazil to this weekend. But I'm glad everything worked out this weekend. I'm glad like uh, we won, you know what I mean? And cannot get much better than that, but of course we still hit trains to do better next time, you know, in fact, especially for who didn't able to perform us better than the last time, you know what I mean? You gotta always try to just do a little bit better each time. And guys, since we all here for one reason, because Jiu Jitsu, I wanna I wanna bring something up. The we're here, but we, we really must care about each other. You know what I mean? We have, we have people here that we, we spend a lot of time together. You know? And we, we must be able to, to be friends of each other. We must be able to, to hang out with each other. You know what I mean? Not that you have to be friends, but you should be able to like, feel comfortable around each other. You know? And I think that's very important for me in Jiu Jitsu. Because I feel this is like my home. I have spent so much time on the mat. Maybe now I spend maybe more time at home because my kids, because that, you know what I mean? It's, it's all the part of my life now. But I have spent so much time over here and if I, if I don't feel comfortable, you know what I mean, in my home, I wouldn't be able to enjoy, I wouldn't be able to focus. I would never be able to uh, proceed on my dreams in Jiu Jitsu. But today, the sport has changed, like always, you know, keep involved, but not always change for better, at least on my, my way to see. I, I, I took a long time to be confident enough to do things my way. When I say my way, not that I impose to people the way, but the way that I felt comfortable to do Jiu Jitsu. And I really, I always felt comfortable to do just like just spreading like uh, everything I know, just <coughs> offer, you know, I mean, to see to people's interests. So maybe I can get people to train with me, you know, I mean, like like since blue belt, you know, I mean. And later on, things start work out. You know, I start winning tournaments. People maybe start to want to learn more stuff from me, and then I feel more comfortable. I start just kind of uh, give more. You know, what I mean, when I say give more, like just whoever reach out to me, I just try like a. But you're gonna do this, you're gonna learn this, you know, that's that's good, that's work, you know what I mean? And and at the same time I was competing. And at the same time I realized like I guess you can teach all your stuff and you still compete and then feel good, you know, you still can win. You know, you don't need to hide anything and, and that put me in, in a in a situation that like uh, I felt very like uh, uh, thankful to be able to have that type of environment around me around me. And it's still be able to go compete and don't feel like trash because I show something I'm gonna lose. You know what I mean? So I, I never felt losing. I, I always felt like I, I was I was winning something by show what I know. You know. And and at the same time to compete, I realize you don't need like a dem demoralize someone. You don't need to be uh, um, act stupid against someone to become a champ. When I say champ, to win the match. You don't need to like a act act stupid to, to win a match to to performance, you know? and that kind of makes me feel very comfortable. If I didn't know if that's how it worked out, I was like, it's working. You know what I mean? Like I can I can be nice to the guy. I can compete very serious. In the end, like I can I can try be kind of friend of him, you know? and that like brought me like a lot of good things. You know what I mean? People have been very good to me. People has treated me like a, a very nice, better than I ever wish. You know, what I mean? people has like a compliment my jiu jitsu. You know, everything, everything that I enjoy. So was like, how how good that can be? You enjoy doing something, and people like to see you do that. You know, what I, mean? I was like, I was great. You know? And then I just focus on that. But later on, because I've been doing that for so long, people start to kind of like uh, look at me as an example. What? puts on me a lot of responsibility. 
And because I never felt like a, a push to do that, I felt like natural doing that, I thought it's okay. I mean, like, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be careful, you know, to do it. Everything I do, I'll be focused to, to do in a good way because people is looking up to me. That's what people tell me, you know? and I felt like uh, I must, I must uh, take that responsibility now. You know? And of course, like uh, that was the point. I was like, uh, uh, I start really be careful, like what I do, what I say, because people, maybe kids, you know what I mean, will, will look up to me. And then I realized like that that, that was like the best way I could have done for me, because. It's very easy for us, like uh, sometimes act impatient. It's very easy sometimes we just use you choose like the wrong path or maybe the easy path, you know, the easy way. But that responsibility also like really pushed me, push and and I guess that helped because I was like a, a very disciplined because I was teaching and I have to give the example to people that was trained with me. If they wanna do what I did, like they should be following my example, not what just what I said. So I was always give the example instead of just say. And that was the easiest way for me because <clears throat> I was enjoyed. I was enjoyed to try have the discipline to compete, do everything right about training, dieting, and not dis disrespect not disrespect no one inside and outside the man. And and that has been take a long time that I feel like that, that responsibility. But since the gym is growing, guys. You know, not only did you grow, but the students number uh, raised up. And I, I felt like I cannot go each one and and make my point. What I wish, you know what I mean? Because it's something that I feel responsible, you know what I mean? If someone inside this gym doesn't act like a, a properly, nice, you know, gentle, you know what I mean? Like a classic. When I say classic, like not not crossing the street, you don't have to be class crossing the street. I'm just saying like a, when you get in a position that you, you make a decision, I mean, you should, you should try to do the best you can. You should try to be responsible for your decision, not just do the decision and whatever. So since that happened, and we get a lot of people, I felt I cannot go to each one. And I start to rely on those first people that begin with me to give the example too. Because if I give the example for them, if they follow me for this long, like people that maybe start with me as a white belt and become as a black belt, people that start as blue belt, over belt, and today's a black belt. So I hope they can spread out like my 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 way to see things, my way that uh, I believe uh, took me farther. You know, and if they next to me, they they should believe in that too. That that will take them farther than sometimes they see people doing. It. In the, in the TV or UFC or something like that. And I realized like uh, even that people wasn't wasn't doing that. You know? I couldn't go in one by one, but even the people that was really close to me wasn't wasn't helping on that. You know? And that was very unfortunate. You know? But since most of you guys probably know, the last few years has been really hard for me. You know? I mean I've been I went I went through a lot of stuff, you know. I make that part fake because and, and you must learn with whatever happened in your life, you just must learn something. You know? And if you learn something, you know, like at least you can make a better decision last time. You know? You're gonna, still gonna have decisions to make if you wanna do, it, do a good decision or a bad decision. And maybe I was like to not present like as much as I wish. You know? As I already told, like a lot of things happened in the last few years. Huh? And I felt things got a little bit out of control control the way that I wish to have my home, you know, the way that I, I wish to come here and see things, you know what I mean? And, and guys, today I, felt even, today I feel even more responsible because life had taught me more, and I hope like I can learn even more, and I, I really reinforce everything that I just told you guys. We have to try to be nice to people, because we need people. We cannot be alone. We cannot just be by ourselves, you know what I mean? Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. You need people to help you. You understand if you're, if you're down one day, you're gonna be glad to have people that you care, care about you, to help you. And I realized like the people wasn't really like a 
focus on that. People just focus like that on social media, you know what I mean? People just focus like that. All this stuff that everybody's aware about, well, sometimes fan, you know what I mean? Like things like that. Things related to that, that everybody see examples. Examples just uh, not important, at least on my, on my belief. You know? and, and that really like uh, forced me to take the, make decisions. You know what I mean? Like uh, I went home right now, I take care of a lot of like a serious stuff that I wish I didn't have to take care of, but there was no one more responsible to, than me to, to do it. And I went there and I did a lot for me, for my family, you know what I mean? And I came back and things not got better, you know. I came back and there was some problem that like I felt like uh, uh, just adding up from what I already told you guys. I already told like I wish like uh, people I wish my black belt, you know, was like doing the best they can to, to follow those examples that take people to a better place. You know? And that didn't happen. And I felt even got worse from each time that I, I take a week off. Something happened. I take a weekend off, you know what I mean? And then other problems happen. And then I end up today, uh, me, Paul, and Bernardo getting a... Uh, Munchie and, and Dylan to take some time off, you know, take some good time off from the gym because, like, uh, they, they need to they need to uh, refocus. They need to like uh, take a, a, a time to to see what they want because they don't want. At least they're not showing they want any one of those things that I told you guys. You know, and it's really hard for me to come home. Because this is my home, this is maybe almost my home, almost more my home than my house. But my home, I, in my house, I share with my wife. You know, this is my home. You know what I mean? So I felt very like a, uh, responsible for this place, and to come here and see, they not they not like uh, uh, appreciated the, the same values that I have. They not making a standard that I believe, you know, and not be the example that I want to people here will be one day for my kids. I mean I, I want to be an example for my kids but I need to the people that is around me and also be the example because if you're not you know what I mean you, you know you know you can easily get distracted especially when you're young you know what I mean? so I want people around me like uh, reinforce those those bad examples. And because I didn't see that and <coughs> things happen. You know what I mean I don't have to say each one because it was a lot but the last one Maybe most of you guys already know what happened. If you guys don't know, maybe someone can tell you know, what happened. And, and that was like a, a big deal for me. You know. um, that was just adding up. That was not the main reason why I, I told them they need to take some time off. I, I didn't kick people off. I really don't want to do that. I told them to take some time off, figure out one day if they have a better, like a, a uh, taught, you know what I mean? They come here, I'll be here, and we talk, you know. What I mean? And you guys know that uh, sometimes we need we need to make our own decisions to we figure out what is right, and what is wrong for us, you know. What I mean? And and that's what I did. You know? I told them to take take your time, you know. What I mean? uh, you you guys don't need to feel. Uh, you guys need to give any any like a. a, a what when you guys do something, you guys do whatever you want, you know what I mean? Don't feel like I'm your, your instructor and you guys don't have to feel like I'm, I'm you guys my students. They have freedom to do whatever they want. They are adult, you know, they they like uh, over 20 years old, you know, wait, uh, over that, you know what I mean? You should, you should be able to, to be responsible, you know what I mean? We, we all know that, you know? Responsibility come, uh, come quick in life, you know? And guys, I'm just saying that, guys, because Life teaches us a lot, you know what I mean? And with me, every time I got off of the path or distracted, you know what I mean? Life came and just beat me, you know, on the butt, you know what I mean? I, I, I got revenge that quick, you know what I mean? And look, I, I usually, I learn quick you know, from those things, you know what I mean? And, and I, I refocus again. You know? And everyone sometimes has to do your decision and then Life teaches like 
the best way, the best way they can. But I just, I just want to people that are around me, you know what I mean, and people that it's around them, you know, what I mean? to know like uh, uh, the situation. Uh, I'm glad, I'm glad we were able to address this situation because it's something that must to be done. And I don't feel happy, but I feel like uh, if I don't do it, you know, what I mean? like uh, no one will do that for me. And I think we have enough time to get ready to train. So I really appreciate you guys take your time because uh, this is really important for me. And I hope you, uh, I hope you guys take the message because I really care. I really care. I really care about people around me. I really care about this place. And we got it. We, we can do better. We all can do better.